Well, it's good to be with you today. My name is Drew Darby, and I'm the state representative for House District 72. And I work in Austin quite a bit, but today I'm here at, at San Angelo ISD, and we're gonna be reading a Christmas book. And the book is Mouse's First Christmas. And it's by Lauren Thompson, and it's made possible by Scholastic Education. And so uh, I, wanna, I wanna stop for a minute and tell you, uh, while I am a state representative, I'm also a father and grandfather. I, I, my wife and I have, we have five children and we have uh, now seven grandchildren and fixing to have two more in uh, January. But one, what I wanna share with you is the foundation that reading gives to each individual uh, going through the education process. My three daughters uh, went to school, three of my daughters went to school here at David Crockett Elementary School and they had Mrs. Powell. Mrs. Howell as their first grade teacher. And there was a program then uh, called Readers or Leaders. And it encouraged young folks to read books. And they were active and voracious readers and they participated in that program, excelled in it greatly. And uh, now they've gone on, uh, uh, one of the daughters who uh, participated in that. She's now a nurse practitioner and she flies helicopters and she tries to save lives of uh, folks that are injured in, in uh, rural Texas. Uh, the other two happen to be lawyers. So uh, all of my children ha have degrees and all of them got their foundation work uh, here in public schools in San Angelo and Readers or Leaders is the program they use to springboard for that. So with that, let's, let's begin to read a book. In today's book, obviously, we're gonna talk about Mouse's First Christmas by Lauren Thompson, and I'll kinda, we'll kinda share this together. Twas a night, still and starry, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Just one little mouse was stirring, and that mouse was peeking all around to see what good things could be found. So here's the mouse, and he's looking around at a plate with, with some food in it. Upon the table, mouse found something sweet and sparkly. It was a cookie. So the mouse found a cookie in the, in the, the bowl. And something warm and melty. What was it warm and melty? It was hot cocoa. And here's the cup of hot cocoa with the mouse. And something cool and sticky. What was cool and sticky? Well, it was a candy cane. A candy cane, the mouse found a candy cane. Then what else? Next to the window, mouse found something jingly and glinty. What was it? It was a jingle bell. Here's the jingle bell. So the mouse is finding a lot of things in the house. And something bright and flickery. Well, what's bright and flickery? Well, it was a candle. Here's an illustration of the candle. And something fine and silvery. What's fine and silvery? Well, it was an angel. What a beautiful angel. How on the mantle, mouse found something soft and felty. Soft and felty, well, what was it? It was a stocking. Here's the mouse and here's the stocking and this is on the fireplace. And something white and floaty. What's white and floaty? Well, it was a snow glo globe. There's the, the, um, the snowman and the mouse and the snow globe and the flakes of snow. And it's something tinkly and twirly. What's tinkly and twirly? Well, it was a music box. And that music box has a dancing ballerina. 
and here's the mouse. There in the corner, mouse found something tall and prickly. Well, what's tall and prickly the mouse found? Well, it was a tree. So here's the mouse and there, there is the tree. And something boxy and ribbony, lots and lots of them. Well, what could that be? Well, these are presents. These are presents, all beautiful with ribbons. Then the mouse found someone whiskery and jolly. It was Santa Claus and Santa whispered, "'Tis your very first Christmas and all through the house, no one is loved more than you." Little mouse. So I hope you enjoyed the reading of Mouse First Christmas. I want everyone seeing this video to keep reading. Keep reading San Angelo. It's the most important thing you can do. With that, have a great day and I hope you've had a Merry Christmas season.